Okay, what am I doing out in the shop? Let's see. As usual, I'm looking for a damn tool. Uh, I'm looking for a Phillips head. There it is. Wanted to show y'all what I'm doing with my welder. As you know, this these welders come with very short leads. So, I went and bought a bunch of big, heavy duty cable I think it's so uh, I want to say it's 1-0 let's see if I can find it on here somewhere mm, made in USA that's always a good thing heavy duty welding cable 1-0 1-0 big stuff 4 AWG for it come on it. So what I've done is I've had some quick disconnects, but I don't like them. Uh, I wanted to keep it where I could use the short leads in here and have the long leads for out working out the side. But in order to do that, I really I've still got four four gauge wire going in. And I'm not sure I can get that one OR in there. It's pretty big. So I bought some I bought another set of these. One male, one female, because I've uh let's see if I can get this thing apart. And it first that Swiss lock wheel. So basically, it's just a, it's supposed to be a twist lock. You got a, a male and a, and a female. The female's got this little lug on the inside that locks it. And then I'm thinking you're supposed to slide these collars up after you lock them together and then secure them. You're not really supposed to be able to pull them apart like I just did. And I don't know what I did on my other set. I may still be at the house because what I've been waiting on is I've got to get a lug to fit my new big heavy ground clamp. Yeah, it's stiff. So I've got to get a lug to fit this. And the reason I got a big heavy one is because the one that comes with these are dinky. I mean to look the difference that's the difference which one do you think is going to ground better I'm guessing this one with the big copper strap and big copper lugs so what I want to do is I've got to measure this and I've got a uh, well it may be at the house too I really wasn't really prepared to do this video today. But I, I, oh, here it is. Crimping tool. This is a hammer on lug crimper under Lincoln Electric brand name. Distributed by WCTA. Made in China as usual <clears throat> basically it's just any just like any other hammer on lug crimper you see it's spring loaded and you just put your lug in there and then beat the shit out of it so uh i'd been waiting on this to come in I bought it off ebay because i hate going shopping so now what I've got to do is I've got to take apart my electrode holder, which I didn't buy a new one of these because this one eh, looks like a pretty good one. And it says that screw is not removable. So I've got to figure out how this thing goes on there. And I was thinking it was screwed on. I know it's uh 
this camera really don't do a very good far away shot but anyway I'm gonna see if I can't get this off and see what kind of lug this has on it and if this don't need a lug then I just have to buy one get that and I bet that's a half inch looks like a half inch is pretty big so I'm going to find a lug for that and uh I'll just get it set up. That is, I want to say, a hundred foot of cable. Yep, a hundred foot of cable. I paid two hundred and twenty-five dollars for it. I'm going to cut it in two and make two fifty-foot leads, which should be plenty enough to reach from in the shop to outside, uh, where I want to weld on uh, trailers or whatever. Instead of having to tote this heavy sun gun everywhere, this thing, it just, it kills my back every time I have to move it. So, uh, for $225 plus whatever that cost, and, you know, less than 250 bucks, I'm going to have two 50 foot leads. Heavy, heavy leads. I really probably could have got away with just one gauge wire instead of one O. And uh, I didn't realize that this, these wires were so small when I bought it for gauge. Fine for short runs like it is. It's what, 10 or 12 foot lead on it, whatever. For that amount of space, you can get by with thin wire. But if you're running, you know, welding heavy metal, and you up in the 150 plus amp range here you really need some thick heavy wire and I'm afraid if I did that that it would end up might burn these little short leads up but it would be a pain to have to and I took that cover off and looked in there to see how how it's going to connect in there and it's just bend this heavy wire the way that wire has to be bent it's uh they just ain't no way so i'm just gonna leave them little short leads on there hopefully it won't act like a fuse and uh yep that's what i'm gonna do so now i'm gonna get this uh get this handle apart and see what i need okay so that screw that's not removable you loosen it up and then that slips down. You don't have to remove it. As you can see, it's got a Allen head set screw in here. But unfortunately, this ain't gonna work with that big cable because it takes up all the room it's got just for this four gauge wire. So I'm gonna have to order a new electrode holder. I didn't want to do that, but I'm gonna have to because that ain't gonna work. Which that'll be good too. Uh, I can use that in here, doing you know welding off my bench here, and uh, so yeah, get me an electrode holder and uh, get this thing together. Well, I'm back, and, and what it takes in the blink of an eye is taking me about an hour to do. And I run to my local tractor supply, and I bought a great big 300 amp electrode holder. Um, one O wire lugs. It's not the right diameter hole. I'm going to drill that out. It's actually a 10 millimeter, and this is 3 8 And I found my Tweeko weld skill couplers. I hope y'all can see them. Cable capacity 1 O, 2 O, or 3 O. And that's exactly, exactly what I've got on there now. It's not really meant for a 4 gauge wire. But it does seem to be pretty tight on there, so I'm going to try it. And while I was there, I looked at ground clamps. They didn't have any quite like this. They had some that had the uh, silver colored terminals for 20 bucks. They had the great big brass one I liked, really liked for 20 bucks. 
and I give 20 bucks for this Hobart electrode holder made in China and I'll show you the difference between this one and this one this is the 200 amp holder get it up there and this is the 300 amp holder so it's a pretty big difference so hopefully this will be what I need so now the biggest issue is going to be getting these the right length and cutting them because I want to get them half and half drilling out a lug to fit that ground clamp and then putting all this together so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this wire laid out and halved and go from there okay I don't know if y'all can see for that glare but that's doubled I'll just run it out there straight and then come back with the end and then out here in the middle You know, somewhere out there. Yeah, there it is. Right there, I cut it. That's a pretty good little distance. I shouldn't have any problem getting any part on any vehicle I want to weld on. So now it's just a matter of trimming the ends and uh, getting them hooked up. Well, sometimes you get screwed on eBay, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This uh, is supposed to be. If I can see that. Complete kit uh, should be a male and a female. Unfortunately, I've already got the positive done, and I'd have to uh, I think I'd have to take this loose to show you. I'll show you this one. This is the male. This is a female, so this is a male, and this is a male. They give me two males instead of a male and a female. And I didn't realize it till I was getting ready to hook it up, and I was like, what, what the hell? So, 13 bucks for that piece of junk. And I'm going to go find another one. So, well, I'm going to go ahead and get the end on this one. This one turned out pretty good. I like that big electrode holder. So now I can use my little... Uh, well, actually I could take... What I could do... And I'll show you. This is what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a female. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this female off of this one. And I'm going to order a new one. Damn chicken, that's out of my shot. I'm going to order a new one to go on the little one. A little set. That's what I did. Well, guys, I'm done, and it's taking a lot longer than I expected. I didn't really show y'all the crimp. I don't really like this crimp. Yeah, it kind of stretched out when I put this cable through here, and I may end up having to recrimp it. Luckily, I got an extra, and actually, that three-eighths hole was perfect. And I got them hooked up. Uh, I did swap that female out, and I had a, a lot of issues with it because on this four gauge wire, really, uh, really not enough to of wire to uh, set that set screw in there good. So actually, the set screw went too deep, and I ended up having to drill it and take my easy out and get it out with that kind of screwed the threads up which cross threaded the other piece so i took the set screw out of my mail and put in the other piece and cross threaded it in tight so anyway that's what happened and there ain't enough room if that set screw goes all the way in there there's enough there's not enough room for it to fall out so fortunately that happens so anyway, now I'm set up with uh, 50 foot leads, 
and should make it a lot easier to weld stuff. And uh, dog barking, but anyway, I want—I really want to get a a cart where I can put these on a uh, roll-up wheel to be able to roll them in and out, and uh, make it a lot easier to get them out, get them uh, back together. Cause it's kind of a mess right here. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more.